Welcome back to our channel, guys. We're still going at it right now. We're still in San Francisco, Northern California. We come to see this beautiful tank. Luke invited us over to check it out. I hear he's got two tanks and a frag tank. We're super excited, something different. So here we go, come follow me inside. How's it going, man? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see so you. We made it, man. Thank you for inviting us over. <laughs> Appreciate you coming over. Oh, no, thank you very much, man. I'm pretty impressed already. Just walked in. Thanks. Actually, I'm lying. I walked in 10 minutes ago, and I've been playing with four of his dogs. <laughs> Anyhow, it looks fantastic. I'm going to put you middle into the Meticulous Club, because I can tell how clean everything is, <laughs> how organized everything is. I love it. So let's just start with the main thing. This is a Peninsula tank? Yep. Is this made by Waterbox? Yep. And what model is this? It's the 626, so it's 186 gallons. Okay. And it has a 20 gallon frag tank plumbed into it. Okay, and that's the tank over there on the other side. Yep. And what's the dimension of this tank? I want to say just by looking at 60. the stick. 60. 60? <clears throat> yep, by okay. 26. 60 by 26. And yep. tall, I, maybe like uh, 24, 20, 26, something like something that. Something out of 26, maybe, I want to say. Yeah. It seems pretty tall. So, beautiful tank, and I love the rimless. It seems like everyone's going rimless now. Yeah. I gotta ask about these lights. Which lights are these? They are the Reef Breeders. Okay. Inside of a T5 hybrid, and it has the new Orphic uh, or three bars. And it so, works great. How long? It, yeah, and it works great. Um, this tank, like three years, but I've had Reef Breeders for probably like four or five years now. I started with that tank over there. And how long have you been in the hobby, Luke? About six years now. Six years. Oh, yeah. Wow, you're doing a really good job, especially for being so new at this. Appreciate it. Really good job. Seriously. Thank you. And then is that a pair of mandarins you had? There? Yep, they're oh mating right now. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. How did you buy them pair up or they ended up no, pairing together? I bought them separate. And you put and them they in? paired up. Wow, that's incredible, buddy. Incredible. Yeah. And what kind of antias do you have there? I see you have one, two. They're the leer tail or lyre tail. Lyre yeah. tails. Yeah. Okay. And the, you got one Quite male. A few of them. Yeah, one male. Ton of females. Oh, you got more over there. I see. Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> also, I see you got a blonde nasal. You got a purple yeah. tang. Purple tang. Powder blue. Powder blue. Yellow tang. Regal uh, tang. That's actually a yellow scopus oh, yellow hybrid. Scopus. Got yep. you. you also, as you see, a regular firefish, pijama cardinals, a couple of them. They're huge. Yeah, they're fast. I love them. Yeah, they they're cool. They just They just hang out. <laughs> and can we talk about some of your feeding? Do you feed algae? Uh, yep. <clears throat> Nori, like every other day. The TDO pellets. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> yep. I, had, I mean, they make the antheas look really nice. Gotcha. A lot of my friends come over and they're like, wow, my antheas do not look like they that. They look flawless, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. And all your fish look flawless, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, they all look very healthy. They look super, super happy. What about water chemistry? Can you tell me a little bit of what are your additives? What are you dose in a regular base? So this tank runs off calc and supplements with a calcium reactor. <clears throat> and then I just started doing the reef moonshiners. But okay. before that, it was, uh, it's actually plumbed under the house to the garage with yeah. a, uh, a big tank out there for holding salt water. And it, I was doing auto water changes daily. So one thing I like is your style of adding coals is different <laughs> than mine. I jam pack my coals everywhere, kind of like that, like, if they can yeah. fit, I don't uh. stop them until there's no more room. <laughs> yeah. And I can appreciate when someone mm. runs a reef tank like this because it allows the mm. coral to turn into an actual colony. Right, yeah. Versus so by fighting. the time my colony might turn into like that one right there, that tenuous that you have there, and it's already too big because it's collapsing right. with their expression. Yeah, yeah, it's touching something else right next to it and they start stinging each other and it's constantly trimming and the coral never gets to reach a level of like, I don't know, 8, 10, 12, 14 inches across to be something right. Right. But you have to have patience to practice this. So kudos to you. you yeah, know? thank you. You got the good old grafted cap. Yep. Yep. I created a monster back in 2008. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. It's so, one of my favorites. Yeah. So to go to show you. <laughs> That's crazy. That coal has been passed around <laughs> yeah. so much. I'm sure that has got to be generation. 2039 or something yeah like right that. probably even I mean, more everyone maybe more it. everyone yeah. 
So to see that co as a colony, and I keep seeing it in different places, is super cool. Yeah. It's and amazing. now they think that grows like weeds because it's a specific goal hammer. Oh right my here. gosh. I bought them roughly three years ago. I think I I sell to like local people. I've sold probably around five, six hundred heads I, I within I three it. years. It's ridiculous. And all these colonies are all from and my grows, original. I bought grows. like three heads. There you go. It's crazy. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks awesome. Yeah, I see you got some clamps here. I see you got yep. one here, one on the other side. You got a couple small ones on the bottom. Yep, I love clams. So this tank is basically Euphilia, some gunnies, an SPS, and a couple of clams. Mm -hmm. Well, the tank looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Now, can we look into your filtration a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Right. I see you got a Nios Quantum Protein Skimmer. Yep, that's great. The protein 160. Skimmer, and are you running a refugium back there? Which... Yep. Okay. Big fuse. So check this out. This is one thing. In the past couple of years, especially this past year, I've been traveling a lot of places. And reefers, they hang out with each other and they're in the same area. You guys reach the same. Yeah. Very. I, we, we learn from each other. Very much so. You guys are running yeah. the same refugium. <laughs> yeah. You guys are running the same style now with the water changes and like, <laughs> right. uh, like the same fish. Right. <laughs> you know like you yeah. start catching on and you're yeah. like, okay, th and there's nothing wrong with that. You got to learn from each other. That's what it's about. That right. means that you guys are that you guys are sharing the information with each other because yep. I've been an open book since day one in, in the hobby. People always ask me, I'm an open book. Anything you want to know, I will tell you because this yeah. is one of those things. I can tell you how to get a six pack doesn't mean you're going to get one. Right. I've been dying to get one, guys, and I still haven't got it. <laughs> like, we know what to do. You got to eat perfect. You got to exercise. <laughs> yeah. You got to sleep well. <laughs> Too much but it's, work. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. So it's the same. I can tell you how to do a master mm -hmm. tank, but you got to be diligently around yeah. the clock working, making sure everything's working correctly, you know? Yeah. Kudos to you, man. You're doing a fantastic job, man. Thank it you. looks really, really good. So can Appreciate we look at some of the other tanks real yeah. quick? And don't forget, guys, throughout this video, we're going to hide an Easter egg of Casper somewhere. I won't tell you. Where is that? First two people to find it, post it on the comments below. We're going to send you a swag pack right to your door, as long as you're within the 48 states. So tell me about this little frag tank here. So this one is attached to this system? Yep. This is one tank? Yep. Nothing to do with the one behind you. Correct. Okay. Different stuff growing out. Some frags from here, but just more space to grow things out. Looks beautiful, man. You're Thank you. Man. Looks so, so good. Especially mm -hmm. kudos to you for doing it for five, six years. Like you say, six years. Most people are still trying to catch on to what to do in the first three, you know? <laughs> There's so much to learn. There's, I, st I learn learning? stuff every day. Uh, listen, mm -hmm. today is my third time that I'm doing a tour today. Mm -hmm. Every tour that I'm doing, I'm picking up little bits and pieces. So this calcium reactor right here is the geo reactor, it's a double, double chamber. Yep. And mm -hmm. this is dosing basically this this tank right here. Exactly. And this is your cog reactor right here. Yep. Man, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's so beautiful how you keep this so clean. Thank you. So what do you got here? So this is the new uh, Gen 2 Red Sea Reefer. Okay. Uh, it's the Red Sea Reefer 250. Why set up two and not a bigger one? So I started with this one and when I moved into this house, this was a temporary tank. And I set this tank up with keeping in mind that I want to just run this tank. And this tank always did so well. And when it, this tank was set up and ready, I couldn't break this tank down because it was doing so, so well. well. And Not it's true. always done so well. Even when I changed everything out, a few months later, everything was ready to put coral back in it. I even added new rock and changed a bunch of stuff. And it's just, the rock in here is, you know, six plus years old and it's just always been super stable. So you couldn't talk your way into getting rid of it. Yeah, with no issues. This tank I've had a lot of issues with. I've had a gnarly bacterial infection in it. Gotcha. So this one runs off calc, uh, calc reactor and it runs off the BRS Tropic Marin balling method. Okay. Gotcha. So Tropic Marin they makes the their... Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and then you mix it with the BRS. How often you clean your sump? I gotta ask. Once every three, five months, something like I that. I thought you were gonna say three, five weeks. I was like, man, no. I'm no, I don't wanna join the <laughs> no. Meticulous Club then. <laughs> yeah. And then you got another um, Nios Protein Skimmer. Yep, the 120. What makes you go with them? I started with that one on this tank and it's been so great. No UV sterilizer on this one? Correct. Mm -hmm. Even though this one runs a UV sterilizer, it's not on. So I gotcha. run them in the beginning, you know, just so I don't have to sure deal with fit. issues. Yep, exactly. Cool. Like and then I turn them off because I do feel like they, they also 
hurt some beneficial yeah, stuff. That's true. They can too. Last but not least, you told me you got a beautiful frack thing in the garage and you got yep. a little uh, water station. Can we go check it out? Yep. Right, let's, let's do go. it. Saltwater mixing station, also controlled through the apex. Uh, the RODI unit is controlled through the apex. So it does a automatic flush every hour for one minute. Um, it has a optical sensor for when it gets full, it'll automatically turn off. Um, these are the dosers that do the automatic water changes for inside that I no longer do. I run a filter on it to clean the salt before it goes into the tanks. Let's get it crystal clear. Wait, is this a custom frack thing? No, it's the 50 gallon low boy. This is connected or this has got his own sump? Uh, it's got its own sump. It's connected through the apex. <clears throat> but so the water, this is its own system. Yes. Receiving a slash quarantine system. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. What, are, what lights are you running on this? Uh, these are aqua illuminations. Yep. What kind are these? these are They're the, the 52s. Hydros 52s. Yep. Okay. And you got 45s and yep. you got... T5s. And this is one of those Alibaba okay. <laughs> LED lights. It works, right? Yeah, Affordable. it works. Yeah. And you only have one? Yep. Okay. Just threw and, it on there to see what it would do. And <laughs> anything that you do different on the system? Versus that we talked about on that one. <clears throat> this system runs on just calc. Calc? And yep, water change every once in a while. And then you have the Trident as well. Yep. You have a chiller. Why? This obviously is not under AC. Is that what it is? Right. <clears throat> so but I never use it. Even, Even though the, the garage gets, yeah, it gets over 100 degrees. I have fans over all my tanks and the fans keep everything cool. Even in 100 degree heat in the garage. I'm the impressed. The chiller man. never turns on. Then can we look at the filtration real quick? Yep. Chato Refugium, the Curve 5 Protein Skimmer. Bubble Magus on this one. Yeah. What are you using for a return pump? It's the Simplicity. Simplicity? Yeah. They've been great. I've had one on the Red Sea Reefer for six years. Six years? Yeah. And it's been awesome. Buddy, thank you for inviting us over. I'm yeah. super impressed. You're thank officially you. in the Meticulous Club. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I think his tank looks fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, post some comments below. We're kind of tired. It's late. We've been running around all day. We're going to go to sleep now. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next episode.